There's this incredible dialogue that goes in us between the mind and the heart. See, your mind has developed a concept of who you are. It's called your ego structure. And the mind's job is to preserve that. That's your separateness, and it is the instrument of preserving your separateness. The heart, on the other hand, is this big, mushy, boundless thing. It doesn't know boundaries. The statement, my heart goes out to you, Somebody that's in their heart, you need it, use it. Take my car, take my house, take my life, whatever you need, use it. And the mind's saying, hey, wait a minute. Easy for you to talk about lilies of the field, but I'm responsible for paying health insurance. you begin to see that the mind is afraid of the heart. It's afraid that your heart will give away everything. Can you imagine going around afraid of your own heart? Well, that's what we are. Because the mind, the intellectual mind, doesn't trust intuitive wisdom. Because it doesn't know what it's talking about. And intuitive wisdom allows you to honor everything in the situation which is your unique predicament, and then you don't give away everything unless it's appropriate to give away everything. Experiencing the possibility that the spontaneous generosity of our heart can be reclaimed. And it need not be at the mercy of the frightened mind. Thank <laughs> you.